you comment on that? One, I didn't get any special treatment in getting my job on that basis or any other. I got my uh, job the old-fashioned way. I worked for it. Okay. And are you okay. Indian? What's that have to do with anything? Are you a because practitioner of identity politics? Actually, okay. there's a big controversy in the mainland about that, so that's why I'm asking. There is no controversy among Indians on that score. There, there actually you, is. There is not. Okay, well, there's a lot of Google you, and there's a lot of controversy Google American you. Indians. It's irrelevant, and I get 65 emails from the same guy every hour in the United States. What is it? I just said that it's a relevant question. What's the problem in understanding that? What is the problem with understanding it's an irrelevant question? That's what I said. That's what I meant. But are you or are you? It's an irrelevant question. Can you spell irrelevant? Thank you. Did you, did you in a, in a Excuse me? No, I'm not. No, I, you take it as an irrelevant know. question to no, I'm not? I, I did. I guess that you'd say yes. <laughs> Self-evidently, I am. Now it's an irrelevant question. Self-evidently, what does that mean? <laughs> I'd like to yeah. Know, wait a second. Yeah. I'd like to know how you feel when the, when the press does what they're doing to you right now on this issue. Because I personally have a problem with it, but I want to know how it is for you. Because this is a question people like to get hung up on, and I'm sure it's what's going to be on the news tonight. This is flatly racist diversion from the nature of the issue. Yeah. How is it racist if we're asking you if you're, you're, if you're not? Um, Would you ask you know George Bush to prove he's white? Who would you ask aside from an American Indian? Would you ask a black faculty member to, for proof of African ancestry? Indians have denounced you, so that's some places, so that's why we're I can find white people who have announced George as being something of a mixed nature, too. Does that make it something you're going to frame as a question to the President of the United States? And if not, why are you framing it to me? That is, you know, Professor Churchill has answered that question. Uh, multiple times, and as you can hear from the crowd reaction to the back of me, uh, I think that is an example. No, actually, actually, let me come back for a second. Sometimes when I go to these things, I expect to encounter professional journalists. All right? If you want to know about some federal pedigree slip, you call the band office in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, like you're doing your job. Okay? Read the federal law what the criteria of identification are. Okay? And see if, when you read your cohorts in the Rocky Mountain News, if they haven't established that I've been identifying the same way since I was a 10-year-old little boy. Self-identification is the first criteria. Community recognition is the second criteria. Grab something as obscure as C-SPAN and look at the community recognition when I spoke at the University of Colorado. And yes, I am an associate enrolled member of the Katua Band of Cherokees. If you got questions about that, don't quote another journalist. Call the office. Act like you got some integrity of your own and your professional standards. Ridiculous. We will be having a talk tomorrow at the Art Auditorium in which Professor Churchill will be um, giving a talk and he will have a question and answer yeah, and I that period no. afterwards with the audience. And you are, of course, invited to that. Let me just uh, remind you that um, the reason why we're holding right. this press conference is to call. $400 worth it. I thought you were going to 